So here I'll be quickly giving you a demonstration of how my clean data tool works which I've developed for my master's degree. So this clean data tool will allow you to of course clean down your data. Uh, you'll be able to sort of visualize the data set which you've picked up. So what you're able to do, let me just show you, you're able to sort of choose a CSV or a Excel worksheet document um, file so you're able to pick one of those two so yeah uh, let me just pick up a data set which I've been using for doing of course my tests so if we pick up this data set maximize it a little bit more so you can see so of course you're related so yeah first of all if I click on click cho chosen my file can click on clean data that will just of course load up all of the data into the, into memory so you're able to to see it on the screen um, yeah so this is just a, a CSV file really uh, which is let me just show you this is just a CSV file as you can see CSV data set um, so yeah this is just a data set which allows you to see whether or not a person earns more than a fifty thousand dollars a year um, you can use any of your any data set for this any CSV file data set or any uh, Microsoft Excel worksheet document data set for this and of course you've got all of your columns which in our machine learning application will be your features so what we can do with this is try and analyze our data set to see what we can sort of delete to clean it up what we can keep so for example in this case we can uh, click and show corrupt values and then we can also what what we can do is filter them by our regular expression so we can of course have as many regular expressions as we want uh, which will allow us to even filter out keywords that we don't want in our data set uh, so it can be any keywords anything really uh, so in this case we just have all of these characters which of course I consider them as special characters which we don't really want in our data set um, so yeah this is just a, a default regular expression of course you can change it to be anything else that you do you like it to be so let's just for example go with this one so a question mark as it appears to be in uh, in a majority of our data set c contains a, a question mark which is considered a of course a corrupt value we could say so if you again if I just check this uh, against this regular expression click on clean data you can now see that we loaded the date load the data with uh, the columns highlighted so the rows highlighted as red which means that these um, that our regular expression at the top here has filtered out all of the um, all of the rows containing that uh, that question mark which I consider to be a uh, an un unneeded special character for example in, a, in this data set we can see that it's it's found 2,203 instances of that uh, 2,003 rows with that question mark so of course what we can then do is uh, if we're if we're happy with this if we sort of filtered out all of our special characters we can click on export data and of course you know save save that data set as a CSV file or yeah uh, because you've of course just exported it as a CSV file and you're gonna uh, well you've imported as a CSV file of course you're gonna export it as a CSV file as well so here's the test set and of course if I do a quick node plus 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 search do find all in current document you can see that there's 
no question marks anymore as we've cleaned them up by using this tool. What we can also do is a show duplicates button so if I just uncheck the corrupt values one so we're still going to get the corrupt values but we just want to remove duplicates if we think there's no duplicates in our um, in no corrupt values in our data set but there are duplicates um, so this data set seems to be pretty clean at the moment since it has well, considering it's got some corrupt values in there we've got about 10 duplicates that we pro most likely don't really want we want to delete those duplicates oh yeah it's a quite a large data set but yeah as you can see it highlights the row in uh, in yellow to indicate uh, the duplicate values so if, of course again if we go ahead and export the data set do the same process of as I've shown before it will filter out all of these duplicates and save the data set without the, without these values in them um, and of course with what we can also do to clean up our data set is do feature selection so if we wanted if we didn't want some of the features slash columns in this data set what we can do is actually filter them or just completely remove them really so what I can go ahead and do is for example select a column that I don't want so if I know this column is absolute you know it, it's redundant it's not needed in my machine learning application to train my machine learning application what I can do is actually yeah select column 2 click delete and as you can see that column is is gone is is deleted so once I go ahead and you know delete all the columns that I find redundant so column 10 11 seems sort of redundant doesn't it so if I go ahead and clean those up uh, I can do again do the same process export this data set and yeah carry on from there really what, I, what we can also do is of course if you have a really large file which has I don't know let's say 20 gigabyte file what we can also go ahead and do is limit the the number of rows which are being which are being displayed uh, because of course if you have a 20 gigabyte file uh, and you have 8 gig of RAM you're not going to load in a 20 gigabyte file into your memory so that's not going to be possible which is why you've got the limit row read fu um, function in here what we can also go ahead and do is of course we've got this feature in here prediction value so what we can go ahead and do is select the column or feature which we want to predict for example column 14 is the one we're looking for we want to look for whether or not an, indiv an individual earns more than fifty thousand dollars a year so we go ahead and click on that we can see that so what this will go and do is it will get all of the distinct distinct um, values which can be predicted so we've got just two so we've got less than or equal to 50,000 or more than 50,000 um, so what does this go what this does is just gets the most the value that comes up the most against this value so uh, this is sort of useful because you can see uh, which values you expect which values are expected for to in order to predict your your feature so as you can see all of these columns come up the most against this value in the, in our data set so if we go ahead and train this we can what we can do is when trying to predict whether a person earns more than 50,000 we can confidently shove in all of these values into into our um, of course software and uh, and we would expect to see uh, that yes indeed this data would return this value in the end and vice versa with this one which is less than a fifty thousand dollars a year so a person which is 20 years old is a high school graduate never married not in a family 
Of course, he earns less than $50,000 a year. Of course, this with this data set, we can do all, well. We can all, do all sorts of th all sorts of, all sorts of things with this tool. So, if we're trying to predict any other column, anything else, this is generic. This is, you know, sort of a global tool which can be used with any data set. Um, so, if we're trying to predict, for example, column three, which is your educational background. So, we can, of course, we can we can go ahead and see um, the values that come up the most against each of these um, educational backgrounds. So for a master's degree uh, we can see that um, a person is probably most likely married, he's a, uh, he's a husband, he's, he's white male from the United States, he does about 50 hours a, a worth, of, worth of work and he's around 43 years old. Uh, and it will be the case for pretty much all of these um, all of these values here, all of these educational backgrounds which we have in our data set. Another thing that we can go ahead and do um, is for example if I load up the whole data set now without limiting any of the rows right so we can also go ahead and do in order to so, sort of um, analyze our data set it, more in depth and see you know what is what is what 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 data is useful to us what data can we actually delete in our data set um, so yeah you're able to visualize each column so all of the values that occur in that in that column so as you can see we only have two instances of um, two so in column 14 we only got two possible date, uh, types of data that come up which is your less than or equal to 50,000 or more than 50,000 so this for example comes up 12,435 times in our data set and this value comes up 3,846 3, times in our data set and this is just a date, test data set so yeah you have a, about around 16,000 values in there and we can of course go ahead and do this for any of our features any of our columns and analyze them so column 3 yep. so this is this would be your educational background so this comes up 5,283 times within our data set so we can again sort of use this to visualize and analyze our data set to see what we can experiment with, what can, what values can we keep, what can we delete. Um, what did I want to say? Right, you can see that this value doesn't really come up that often. You possibly want to maybe remove that from a data set as it doesn't really seem necessary as there's not that much data uh, with people yeah for for this column so you can sort of go and assume and go ahead and delete these values which you which don't really come up that often in our data set or don't really seem relevant and this can this can be a handy tool to help you sort of visualize what can be kept what can be deleted and yeah, at the moment this is pretty much this is pretty much it. That's all you can do as of now. Um, this is a very handy tool, and it's definitely being used. Uh, it can be used to, of course, help you analyze your data set, see what is useful, see what is useless. Um, yeah, you can use it to clean up and analyze your data set.